Hello, hello, Cancer signs. This is your third and final message for October's energies. This one's going to be a doozy. I hope you all enjoy. All right, I'm going to. This is the Eclipse Snow Globe. I decided to bring this in. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, I got a lot of names. New names, same names, dates, times. You got to have take it how it resonates for you guys okay you can check your rising sign and moon sign as well for your monthlies in this video we're jumping into the spirit allies uh the tarot was done in the first video and the second video and uh the halloween oracle the witch came out okay uh the earthly weavers of the the world this is an alchemist this is a healing witch a green witch okay this is not an evil witch so no fear guys okay uh Wow, I saw lots of different uh, a cancer sign energies, actually. So you could also be dealing with another cancer sign. Um, let's see, there's, of course, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn popped in. Uh, let's see, a lot of Scorpio, new music, a little Sagittarius. Hmm, right? Okay, cancer signs. Um, wow, 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 wow. Um, so we're going to be working with the crystals. And as I've incorporated different uh, crystals and stones from the different zodiac signs, uh, so I'm going to spotlight them. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, a lot of uh, air sign in this particular video coming through for you. These can be ancestors, passed on loved ones, um, or, you know, somewhat an earth angel in your uh, giving you clarification guidance, okay? Wow, okay, um, I did also do the Palo Santos and um, the rose water for cleansing in this video, okay. Okay, so let's begin. So like I said, I saw uh, almost all the different uh, signs. I saw 622, 721 came through again, something, an Aaron, okay, a Aaron or a Ron. Um, there's the name Ash and Ashley, Ashton, Asher, uh man oh man uh they may be capricorn or there's multiple people named ash and these can be um what was this say you know uh masculine or feminine okay um wow oh my goodness uh, i don't even know this is crazy so uh something about so we've got the the evil dead okay uh <laughs> the scary show evil dead with ash williams okay uh so the little a little scene of that also got the name uh, Brittany potentially uh there's the song by it's like toma toma as well ashley look at me ashley look at me <laughs> and then lo and behold i feel like somebody that's been watching you they might even be a capricorn or you're you know whatever that's your opposite, right? Um, also got the name Colby. And um, I got the name. So Colby Ryan, damn. And uh, Tylee Ryan, um, wow. And the whole thing is popping. Um, I kept seeing 925, 926 Libra energy. And I believe if I, that that might be her birthday energy. Um, and Ty or Tyra also saw... Uh, a big lion energy in, uh, or uh, like a face of a lion. So of course there's some Leo energy. You could have that in your chart or dealing with them as well. And if you are the Leos, you guys are up next. Uh, it is, let's see, is it 10, 12 today as I'm getting this video out for you, this final third message. Um, and then I'm going to move, move on to the Leos monthly messages Whew, for October. Um, monkey see, monkey do, m and m and 50 Cent and Curtis. So a lot of the C names too. Um, I got uh, also the name Ryan, right? So whether this is a first name, middle name, last name, street name, city name, you can take it how it resonates. If it has nothing for you, then leave it and let it be. Um, wow, uh, let's see what else. Um, so uh, we've got some ace of spades by motorhead uh the ace of spades so that's the truth right and we also got time to play the game i saw 721 uh 622 i saw all like july energies okay so i was seeing um all the way from 704 actually and then it jumped to 711 712 
713, 714. I don't think I saw 715 actually. 717, 718, 719. Right? And then we shifted into some Leo energy. Uh, 731, 725, 726. And then I kept seeing the Libra 1001, 925, 926 um, were really spotlighted. Okay. Let's see. And then uh, 1226. So some Capricorn and 101. So I got Florida spotlighted and Flow Rider. Good feeling. Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling. All right. Flow Rider and Florida. Um, something about the sharks too. So I kept seeing like shark attacks or shark. There's a fear maybe of this. So the other song is Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds and Bring It On. Okay. So bringing on all of these deepest, darkest fears and shattered dreams and all of that stuff and, uh, turning it into, uh, and, and, and putting it out to the sea. <laughs> I don't know. The seas. So sea names as well. Um, there's also Daniel and the cooks or cook, Corey, the name Taylor was spotlighted a lot too. Um, what else? Max, Max. Yeah. Igor, Andre. There's something about really wanting someone to live their life and leave you alone as well. Pantera comes through a lot too for the cancer signs. Uh, and like Uncle Rico or even Rico Nasty, the name Candy or C Candy. Mm. And something about a psycho holiday, right? Um, concrete Sledge. All this Pantera song, Cowboys from Hell. Also Mother and Danzig. Okay. So something about the mother, right? I don't know what Danzig is. Uh, I don't know what his, his, his zodiac sign is. Anyways, I'm going to jump into these. Um, okay, I'm going to bring the camera down. Maybe a little Capricorn with the Edgar Allan Poe. We'll see where it goes from here. Okay, Cancer signs. Um, I'm, there is definitely a little bit of Sagittarian energy too. You could be dealing with it or have it in your chart. So this was in the, the previous video. Your uh, So if you did not watch the Halloween Oracle, I kind of left it there. I want to see what this is sitting on the angel wing. We have Eight of Swords. So I'm feeling a little stuck and trapped in their head over some thoughts and stuff like this. I'll see the Queen of Swords energy. So uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <clears throat> so with Geminis, it brought in this fluorite and uh, working with fluorite. Um, and then I brought in the, the sphere or the, uh, is this called a sphere? A ball, <laughs> whatever. So working with this. For uh, getting clarity and focus as well. Rainbow fluorite. Also the rainbow obsidian. You could work with any other uh, type of obsidian. Also gold sheen obsidian or regular old obsidian for protection. <clears throat> there is Aries energy here too. And the song is actually uh, The Pot by Tool. So uh, we practically raise the dead. Uh, so this is someone even thinking... What were you smoking or what you what are you doing? Um, and this is me, motherfucker. I ain't on drugs. So keep that in mind. Libra energy. The Eminem Marshall Mathers. Monkey see, monkey do. Okay. Uh, this is Kunzite. Beautiful K. Kunzite. The K's. <sighs> someone's name could be Nick or Nicholas or someone even calls someone Nikki, Nick, you know, whatever like that. Last name, middle name. I kept getting something about Taylor, like the city or, uh, I know a lot of people think maybe Taylor Swift or something like that, but it is what it is. I saw Slipknot and Corey Taylor too and spit it out. Okay. Something about spit and piss. I'm just saying spit and piss. I know that's weird, that's weird, but just, just let's flow with it, okay? So there's two different songs, Pantera and Piss. If you listen to the songs, it's saying that he, he didn't do shit. We also got Britney Spears and Work, Work Bitch. If you want it, you got to work for it. And this is going to be somebody that you work with, even. I did see, like, a, a quite a bit of Leo energy, too. I think she might be Libra. I don't know, Britney Spears, whatever. I don't listen to her very often, but... 
Um, <clears throat> so look at the rainbows. This is soft, compassion, love. Okay, this is about healing, okay, and getting clarity and focus. Then with the Aquarius energy, we pulled in the <clears throat> Spirit Cactus Aura, Angel Aura, Spirit Cactus Quartz. And as well, just a little one. So I'm going to set these off to the side. Uh, and uh, the Aries energy was bringing in the angel wings uh, and good luck, a horseshoe. So this has been fascinating for me. This is one of my favorites so far that I've opened for the Libra's birthday message. It really has resonance for me for my past on loved ones coming through really strong with it, especially my mother and my grandmother, uh, even maybe an uncle. And I'm getting 60. Someone could be 60 or they were 60 or something. Maybe a little Piscean energy. You guys often had quite a bit of Pisces. But I got a lot of actually Scorpio. Okay, so let me double check the camera, see where we're at. I'm going to move it over. This is different. And uh, I shuffled all of these for you. I do want to also mention, um, so there is protection, angel protection, angel guidance, ancestors, pass on loved ones, okay? And horseshoe, playing horseshoes. I received this from, um, you know, an Aries person in my life. Um, and I, I, I'm going to say that because that's, but it's a, it's a Christmas ornament um, with angel wings. I've seen and met angels wearing the disguise of ordinary people living ordinary lives, right? Okay. The snake. No way. I have to tell you guys, I did see the snake when I was shoveling for you. Someone could be 45. You or them, right? Whoa. This could be the Aries, uh, Cancer, Leo, maybe Sagittarius. Could be any of these other signs, uh, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, this is uh, <clears throat> my birthday. I turned 45. Yay, me. Woo. Uh, this is to me about mastery as well and uh, the knowledge and letting things go that no longer serve you. This is also shedding skin, right? Maybe there's something about shedding, transformation. So you guys got the, I can't believe I opened it up to that when I first opened this, okay? Oh, this is new. Iboga. This is a new plant. I don't know about this one. 2-9. Maybe 2-9 Aquarius is very spotlighted for you. Or someone could be 29 and then we got 45. I'm going to start with these. Ooh, this one. You guys are the first ones to get this one. You can have Aquarius on your rising. This could be messages from Aquarius. I see Aries, Aquarius energy. Uh, Taurus, Sagittarius. I see 11-9 Scorpio. And it also could be Libra. It can be any other signs. It could be these ages. I feel like you guys kept, so I don't know why. I feel like this, so the, uh, the Aaron or Aaron um, and 721, that might be interlinked with Gemini because that kept coming through a lot with them. The 29th of the month, even 1029, okay? Or 109, maybe something happened on the 29th. <clears throat> you know, like... Never mind. I don't want to get into it. The, the thing is, the whole thing, and I know that if you've been with my channel for a while, I've talked about these things, and I know it's it doesn't mean it's, it's you guys. It's just resonate and having understanding and clarity regarding things. And um, the cancer sign person uh, is Lori Cox. So the Cox is uh, Valo. And then we have Charlo, Charles and Charlie coming out so much with this. So that was also... Um, and Alex, okay, that was her ex, her, 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 her husband who was murdered, basically, uh, and said it was in self-defense. Um, how weird is that? And there's this weird interlink in the name Josh was coming through too. This weird interlinking with also like the Susan Powell Cox. I don't know. That's something about Washington. Oh, so there's also Idaho because a lot of this was in Idaho, understand, Arizona involved, Utah, all of these different places, okay? Um, and it, it's very weird because I'm not trying to do this, okay? But um, I, I was just like, wow, is this, this is Tyler Rain's birthday. And then Leo uh, <clears throat> is the sign of the Chad Daybell right? As well as Charles Vallow. 
uh, and JJ is Gemini 525. Wow, and that's a really interesting day for me personally. Um, I have a, a this is an these are double anniversaries, double whammies, okay? Uh, like passing on of loved one as well as a celebration of like a, a there's anniversaries. Um, there's Libra, Aries, and Gemini energy, double Libra for that time zone. So I don't know what this Iboga is. I've got no clue. You guys are the first to see this. And it was so weird. I don't know why, but it seemed like, you know, someone named the Browns or the Browns were spotlighted or just seeing the Browns. But this is definitely turning, this is more of like a red brown, like a burnt, burnt orange color, like the red, red stones. Um, do you know what I mean? Like the desert area of the red rock, the clay. If you've never been to this area, the, the ground kind of looks like that. So something's transforming here. I'm also getting, remember, a snake is a different type of transformation. They don't turn into a different creature. They they grow bigger. They shed what's the old to break through. Um, okay, I'm going to read Iboga. Let's, so, so this is beautiful. This is by Jill Pyle and Sydney. And someone's name could be Sydney as well. Like with, this is Sid. I was getting Sid, like Sid and Nancy. And, and Nancy can actually be a place, okay? And I got Batchert, but I'm thinking like Baccarat. I don't know why. And illustrated by J.K., okay? <clears throat> 29. I opened it up to Spirit Quartz and Tiger's Eye. So the spirit courts came through, like I said, with the Aquarian energy. So maybe we are pulling a little bit of that. And I'm going to share that with you guys. Okay, Cancer Signs. Because um, I turned the page to it. As well as the tiger's eye. Um, someone could be 38 or 39. This can interlink as well with Pisces. 38 or 39. As well as 23 and 24 Aquarius. As well as, like I said, take it how it resonates, guys. This can be ages. I also see 5, 6 Taurus. 11, 12, Scorpio, 5, 11, and 6, 12. I am a creation of universal love. Spirit quartz takes on entirely unique shape as smaller crystals can be found growing on top of the larger face of the crystals, often found as a delicate purple or pink. This stone is a symbol of your true inner spirit and divine love. So some of you could have a lot of Aquarian energy in you. The DNA, and I know I didn't put it in the title. There wasn't like enough space in the title. But you had something about your ancestors in your second video. Okay, so just I'm just putting that out there in case you didn't watch that one. Um, and understanding your DNA. They could be part of your family, okay? An Aquarius person. Or you could have this in your chart. Um, and your ancestors. You're being reminded that you are loved and worthy of love. The universe and your guides care for you and they want the best for you. Even though it may not seem like it when times get hard, everything falls within divine timing and happens for a reason. What you are learning at this moment is invaluable information that will help you grow and connect with others so that you, they may do the same. You're breaking karmic cycles and the stigma around igniting change. It's powerful work. But you have a divine support system that is rooting for you all the way. The journal prompt. So also, oh, there was a song that talked about, um, it was interlinked to the Diary of the Wimpy Kid in Dog Days. Oh, I think it is. Uh, I have a few different, okay, I have a few different songs. And I'm not giving you all of them, okay. Um, gosh, which one? which one was that? Uh, there's something about um, this is what it's like when worlds collide. What is the? Maybe that's it. This is what it's like when worlds collide. We also have Space Lord and Monster Magnet. So Dave um, and Aaron. Hmm. Now open wide and say my name. Space Lord motherfucker. <laughs> I'm saying it. I don't care. I'm like, I don't care. I'm saying it. Monkey see, monkey do. Hmm. 
You're breaking karmic cycles and the stigma around igniting change. Yeah, so this is even with the snake energy, okay? Now, I want to read Tiger's Eyes. Well, I didn't bring it up here, but a lot of different signs were receiving it. And maybe these will pop out for you and then they're already read, right? I can move on to what's next to keep this moving because I know these get long. I know they just get long and thank you all. I so appreciate it. I wanted to show you something very interesting um, with the candle. It's 2026, something about 2026, 2027. That's coming up. I mean, that's into the future energy. So I burned these candles for both Libra and Aries energy. They are a black candle. And look how fascinating the second one. It stayed. Like, what do you see? It looks like an angel or something. I don't know. It's standing firm. It's standing tall. Look at the the wax is just like standing. How is this? Hmm. What is this madness? It spells. Candle spells. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, what was the other song, man? I don't know. I should. I used to be really weird, and I would write them all down. I would write, I literally would be like, all right, here's all my downloads of the songs and what they mean and the times and stuff. I used to be really like that. Maybe I should try that again. So once they come through, then I can, uh, I, I did that a lot for like Sagittarius. Anyways. It, it, okay. Let's see. I want to read Tiger's Eye. This is also about confidence as well. And this did come out for a lot of the different signs, maybe Gemini, Aquarius, uh, it came out for Taurus as well, I do believe, Cancer sign, uh, maybe Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius as well. So 3, 9, 39, and 24, 6, 12. I connect with my roots so that I may heal. Oh my gosh, I got this song by Sepultura. Okay, guys. Roots, bloody roots. <laughs> roots, bloody roots. And the other song is Attitude. Show some respect. Someone has some nasty attitude and they need to show some respect. Um, R-E-S-P-C-T. Find out what it means to me. Hmm. Okay. Even that song, Walk, it talks about respect. Hmm. The other song, like I said, is uh, is Spit. It means ask me no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Ask me again and I'll spit in your eye. Ooh, I don't know. It's like you get just tired of repeating the same old thing, right? <clears throat> yeah. All right. Let me take you to your roots, bloody roots. Hmm. So we may heal. With reflective stripes that glimmer in the sun, this golden brown stone is a bridge to connect you with the earth. Tiger's Eye can help to promote clarity, dispel anxiety, and bring you good luck. So connecting you with the earth. I want to go get my Tiger's Eye, guys. I don't know why I've been bringing them all in except for that one. This also represents Jupiter. <laughs> and wisdom and abundance. Tiger's Eye. Look, it looks like a planet. Okay, Tiger's Eye. Working with Tiger's Eye. The tigers. It's all about the sharks. I was seeing like the mako shark was really spotlighted. And the lemon shark. Hmm. Maybe a fear of that. Dude, I'm all dude. If you believe in these past life things, okay? And I'm assuming you do. You may have passed away. You may have been a shark or you may have died from a shark. Okay? Or an animal. It could have been a snake bite even. Okay, and these are traumas, right? Never go into the water. I, I, mine, my, I know, it was a tiger shark. It was a tiger shark. I don't know where it came from, but when you are open to receiving this information, maybe the movie Jaws even. And, and there are people in, in the recent news that things are still happening. They're young. So they may even be coming through for some. Like There was this one in Egypt. It was a tiger shark. And then there was this one, I think, isn't it Cam, Cameron, Camden? 
I was getting Cami, you know, or Cameo. I was getting Corinne, Karina. I'm getting a little Capricorn energy, maybe Leo too, but the Earth energy and Scorpio. Libra. I know this is weird. See, when you do these types of things, this type of work though, you are um, going through the death that you had in a previous life to understand what was the learn lesson, what was the learning and things like that, right? So I'm really getting a sense of uh, sometimes it was actually, it was animals, um, <clears throat> an alligator, the swamps. Those are the two I'm getting. Maybe a snake bite, like rattlesnake or something very viper, very poisonous. And then we've got the sharks. Okay. We're going to dive into this. Wow. Okay. Or someone in your family did. And if they didn't, that's, um, you know, that's why we also, there could have been a close call or this is even facing those fears. Everyone has a fascination with these, these, there's so many species of sharks, maybe even a mar ma marine biologist or something, or, um, a surfer, you know, a, a, hmm. Okay, connecting with the root chakra. Tiger's eye is a stone that encourages grounding and connecting with your roots, both ancestrally and out in nature. Whether you are directly familiar with your ancestors or not, you can connect with them in meditation and the dream world right the dreams that's what's coming up um and i shared this in another video okay especially dealing with aries or having aries or libra in your chart um i don't know i might do it in the scorpio season it was one of my gifts that i received and i always um you know i i share that with you guys too um I love it being a new experience and learning things together as well. So I'm almost getting like, you know, how people uh, make these reaction videos, like the first time ever hearing the music or hearing something or seeing something. I It's kind of like I, I love the mystery of it and learning together. So there's a little bit of uh, Scorpio Sagittarian energy with that as well. And then sharing it with all of you. Um, you know, it's not like I'm all wise and I'm all knowing. And neither are you. And if you think you are, you better check yourself. Because you're not, there's too much information to know it all. This didn't know it all. <laughs> um, and it humbles you. And that's why also I think it's beautiful to have all of this information. But it can be overwhelming. We can only take in so much and process it. Right? And then that's the release and letting go of the things that are no longer serving you. Maybe that at one point and stage in your life, it was very important, right? That was your focal point. That was your learning. That's what you were growing. And then you, you get to this place. And sometimes when you feel this uh, boredom or apathy or, it's, or even a sadness or just feeling in a, a lack, like, I don't know, just like, eh, it's just not filling your cup anymore. There's just no, you know, it's like that's, that's your sign. That's, you're ready to expand and grow. And you kind of have to let things go to make room. Carrie, you know, there's the saying, okay, Carrie, what's up? So there's the saying, you know, that's like, uh, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. And for the longest time, I was like, what does this mean? <laughs> and I get it now. And it's understanding. So the baby's innocent and innocent, you know, a brand new baby, you know, they get poo poo all over them and they get dirty and they get borfy and, um, you got to give them baths, right? You clean all the yuck off of them and the muck. So someone's been feeling like they're in the muck and the yuck, right? Um, muddy waters, but this is okay. It's part of the growth. Um, and you clean, you know, you don't throw it all away. You throw out what is no longer serving you. You clean off the things. Maybe it is the, I don't know, piss and spit, whatever that has to do. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, this is weird. I know, guys, I know. And maybe it was a tiger. 
I get tiger's eye and I'm getting like the eye of the tiger in Survivor. Every time I see tiger's eye, that's the song that pops in. Like off of Rocky. And it's the eye of the tiger at the fan of the fight. This is coming back around, right? Like, um, there's, I think that's the, is this a Beyonce song? That's, I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. Is that, or is that like Destiny's Child? I don't know. I'll be honest. <clears throat> there's certain songs and certain celebrities that you just kind of like, all right. Uh, once you know some deep truths, you're like, I just don't, I can't, I just don't even want to uh, listen to their music. Like, mm, you know. Or, or give them any type of acknowledgement. And I get it. They're all, we're all humans and we're all, we make, we make mistakes and our egos take over. But we do some dirty, dark shit. And if we're har harming other people, being deceptive and lying and cheating and stealing, uh, yeah, you, you, the karma is going to come down. Even if you see the error in your ways, you still have to pay the retribution for the harm that you cause to others. Mm. And it's, when you are in the spotlight, you are held in a higher fucking standard to be an inspiration, to, to be a guide, uh, not to uh, let your ego think you're better than other humans and that you can get away with shady shit and treating people and animals like um, dirt. Uh-huh. And uh, pieces of property that you can use and throw away, right? Okay, I don't know why I had to say that, but that is, it is what it is, okay. <clears throat> this is connecting with your roots, right? Your root chakra, feeling safe as well. Tiger's eye is a stone that encourages grounding and connecting with your roots, both ancestrally and out in nature. So maybe this Ibaga, I don't know what this is, and I might be saying it wrong, Labaga. It looks like an L. It might be an I. B-O-G-A. We're going to learn about this together. Yay! <laughs> Yay, class! Whether you're directly familiar with your ancestors or not, you can connect with them in your dreams, right? Like I was saying that. So we have Queensryche and Silent Lucidity and dreams. So this is what, like I said, is coming forth. Um, a beautiful friend of mine gave me the beautiful dream journal, which I thought was beautiful. Yay, yay. Thank you very much. I don't know why you'd be watching this video, but if you are, thank you. Um, I'm going to be sharing that with the rest of you uh, into the future energies, uh, learning about the dreams and interpreting dreams. This is by Teresa Chiam. Chiam? I might say that wrong. Uh, and I, if I... If I mess up the pronunciation of names, I do apologize. There's no uh, uh, intent, you know. I'm just, uh, I'm just sounding it out, <laughs> and I might not know the pr precise enunciation. But um, so look forward to those. I'm gonna bring those in. I was, I was really excited understanding your dreams and interpreting dreams. Okay, the dream work. The dream works. Hmm. You were born, right? So connecting with them in meditation and the dream world. You were born within this lifetime to heal and connect with your highest self. But in order to do that, there can be a lot of deep work to do on healing the root causes and issues around ancestral wounds in your lineage. Allow nature to be your companion on this journey and take some time to connect with the trees, flowers, and the dirt beneath your feet. Welcome the life force of the planet that's always available to support you. The journal prompt is, what can I learn about myself by looking at the patterns of my lineage? So this is looking at your ancestral lineage and um, recognizing the patterns. That's the first step to being completely aware of yourself so that you're not just in some unconscious programming, repeating the mistakes from the past or thinking that because your family lineage, uh, this is what they are, that that's your life too. And then you can see what needs to be worked on and healed. Um, the other journal prompt for the spirit courts is in what areas of my life or in which relationships is my spirit calling me to love more? I saw the weirdest ad that said, um, 
the past will find you or the past will come back around. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, seriously, out of the blue, I look and some, someone who I'm not, I, I've known, I known a while ago, I'm not like friends with, they have a brand new, uh, so they might change their profile, you know, um, if you blocked them, they might go around it that way, but all of a sudden they can't help but like something on your, your, uh, your social media that's going to make it pretty clear that they've been looking and watching and they're making their presence known. Dude, they all come back around and maybe it's about healing. So keep that in mind. Maybe they have something inside them that um trying to understand the connection. Regardless of everyone is a everyone that comes into our life can have some type of soul connection or contract for this lifetime as well right? But always use your discernment. And if there's someone that's going to uh, harm you or your family, or they have hatred in their heart or something, you know, um, then trust your intuition above all and uh, protect yourself and your family and, and stuff from people who have ill will towards you. Okay. Wow. So that's where I'm starting. I, that's not even what I read, but those were the, the ones that were spotlighted and, and a lot of different signs got the tiger's eye. I, and I feel like Aries did to Taurus, Capricorn. I'm not getting much Virgo with this one, but it is, I'm like, it is what it is. Let's look underneath here. Oh, saliva. I said saliva. Uh, what about the spit? Salvia. This is salvia. Oh, I almost thought it was sativa, you know, like cannabis sativa, but it's salvia. Okay. Okay. This is a little sage, the baby sage. 35. I also said Sylvia was someone's name or Sydney. There's Pisces energy potentially or Gemini Leo. 11, eight Scorpio and 11, nine. Uh, I see eight, nine. Leo. Okay, let's go to 29. That one's coming up next. You guys are the first. Oh, cannabis is in this deck, so we'll see. Iboga, it's right there, right before it. 44 cannabis and 45. Weird. How do we keep getting these weird synchronicities, guys? See, this is why I do this. This is a weird ass synchronicity here. Okay, um, and I'm going to show you why, because when I open the book, this is why I still do the book and I get messages and, and numbers and things like this. So 45 is the snake, right? I split the deck. I open it up to 45. Page number 45 is where 29 is. How weird is that? Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Right. It's Iboga Tabernate. Um, Iboga. I see the medicine in the difficult experiences. Hmm. This is seeing the medicine in the difficult experiences. What branches spread across the sky? The Iboga plant sits in the heat of the African sun. Wow. So yeah, there was something about South Africa and even Egypt is Africa. African sun. From small white flowers come orange fruits that sit amongst the plant's narrow dark green leaves. So these little, these little fruits come from these little flowers. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I'm all, oh, that's interesting. The spirit of the Bolga, I'm just going to call it Bolga, is letting you know that your guides want to connect with you. It's time to become fully aware of any destructive patterns that have been holding you back. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. We all develop coping mechanisms in an attempt to avoid repeating or experiencing past traumas. It's time to break the cycles and heal any past wounds that are subtly or not so subtly guiding your behavior in the present. Spend a little time each day focusing on connecting with your higher self and guides about your dreams and aspirations, especially those related to releasing self-limiting patterns. Call in and then look for support in this healing process. Keep your eye on the end goal. Envision yourself choosing to do things in new ways that support your highest desires arriving in your life. Seeing the medicine in the difficult experiences. 
What destructive patterns are you aware of within yourself? Hmm. Self-destruct. Nine Inch Nails. Mr. Self-destruct. Uh, interesting enough with that song and Trent Reznor. And the final part of that says, I, I am an exit. I am the one inside your head. This is an interesting song, okay? Don't be afraid of it. This is all uh, the stuff in your head. I am the needle in your... Oh, It's recognizing your own self-destructive patterns, man. Woman. Human. 29 and 45. Wow, someone could be... If you're at this age, you may be going through like a Saturn return even. Um, this is fantastically fascinating. Let me see what else I got. Yeah, 9, 10, 11, 11, 9 even. Some Scorpio. Wow. Um, I really dig this. I really dig this. Uh, together we make magic. I want to say, I want to start with this uh, by Jill Pyle. Um, Card Meanings by Sydney Beckrat and Jill. You can find them at goddessprovisions.com or on Instagram at goddessprovisions. Uh, illustration and design by JK, a creative wannabe. <laughs> okay, and some about New York here, Sterling. Um, I would like to read this part in gratitude. The Spirit Allies Oracle deck has been created with the deepest gratitude, profound reverence, and heartfelt admiration for our spirit allies and our higher selves. Thank you for watching over us and illuminating, illuminating the path of our ascension. We feel your presence and honor the work you're doing to help us grow into our highest selves. Together we make magic. Um, <clears throat> so with quantum healing hypnosis therapy and Dolores Cannon and Julie Cannon, um, the Cannons, right? Um, this is something, It's a, it, I always thought it was something like a past life regression 4.0 <laughs> or something. I'm getting like Tosh 4.0, Tosh, Toshy, Tosh, whatever. Um, because it's not just about taking you in and... Uh, to a past life you you always go through a door or a gate and then there's a guided meditation just they just keep you uh in a a theta stage brainwave theta so if you understand the stages of dream and brainwaves the alpha beta theta and delta right so delta is dreams and if you're in a, or your rem rem you know your rem state you're not um you look like you go too deep in so that you um you're not going to be communicating or you won't remember you're not aware of it but at theta stage is where you're really you're in there but you're able to there's a little bit of uh awareness um and so it's really describing what the biggest thing of what you do is helping the person to describe what they see describe themselves the scenario the situation you're just helping them to set the stage the scene you don't plant it in their head you don't tell them what to see you ask them and that's how you keep the you keep it going um and you record it so it's their own voice now there's a sense where there's also you must ask the higher self mother may i uh, this is connecting to your highest self, your highest version, and you can ask deep questions about, and we all know intuitive, we know what we're supposed to do. We might not do it, but we know, or what things are holding you back or different things like that. And, um, it always talks about the higher self, HS, connecting with the higher self, <laughs> And then when when our lower ego self is in place, it's the one that wants to deny it and say, "This is a, I'm just making this up. This isn't real." And it, I loved how Dolores would call it like Mr. Stupid. So I'm getting this song by Suicidal Tendencies, and uh, it's called "Gotta Kill Captain Stupid." Gotta kill Captain Stupid. Okay. Um, it's an interesting song, so, and I think the name Mike always comes through with that one, because I think that's their names, like, the, the artist, but this does make me think of a lot of cancer signs, actually, hmm, 
I don't say the names. Sometimes I often don't say the names of the people that I think of in my life because I don't want to. I mean, and sometimes I do because it's coming through very strongly, but. <clears throat> Gotta kill Captain Stupid. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, so that's the first one, Iboga. How interesting. I don't know. Cannabis here. Oh, so I'm going to be 28 or 44. I honor myself and put my needs first. Now, understanding, because this does have cannabis sativa too, right? Like, um, understand that this is being used for medicinal purposes as well, right? For, instead of getting a pill for anxiety, you know, um, different things like that depression but it can depending on the person um cause issues in your life so um so don't i i just feel like we, we shouldn't be uh so judgmental as you know um because people are trying to find some type of sense of healing um you know whether it be through having a beer and hops that are in there or uh, going to the doctor and getting yourself some antidepressants and anxiety medication and uh, all of that thing, you know, and, and whatever to each his own. I've, 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 I personally don't, I, I, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like the pills from the doctors. Okay. How many of you are like, I listened to Robert Kennedy Jr. with the uh, health um, and stuff like that. We got the Anthony Fa Fauci stuff. And the thing is, so a long time ago, like Nina Simone, there was, I used to have this music oracle and it said, never trust a system that created the disease for the cure. Uh, and, you know, or never trust a cure that comes from the system that created the disease. And, um, Oftentimes, and this is, there's a lot of things that need to be reformed with our health care, I personally think. Um, why does insurance company only pay for medical from a hospital or a, and not holistic? Why don't they, uh, why, you know, different things like that. Holistic medicine and naturopathics, you know, you have to come out of that with your own pocket. But, you're, but yet we're forced to have insurance. Thanks, Obama. Thanks, Obama. Dude, this is banking on your illness and sickness. And they're, they're always so, uh, you know, I just learned. I, I just, I'm going to use food as medicine and natural things and plants, right? Because it's like literally they're, they're like, oh, right, what can I prescribe you? Or you need to have this, this, and this. Um, and you'll recognize it's a business. Let's, let's be clear. If they get you better, every, every business wants to keep recurring customers flowing in. Right? And I'm not a completely against it. I understand the necessity, especially of antibiotics and pain medicines and stuff like that. And for when you're going, going through things like that, right? Why are the side effects of an antidepressant potentially make you more suicidal or homicidal? Oh, fuck. Why is it with these testosterone and all of that shit? With this, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not against this. But why are they becoming more homicidal or even more depressed? What about Ozemka and the, everybody wants a quick fucking pill instead of to do the goddamn work. And that's uh, frustrating. Ah, uh, cancer science. Y'all understand, don't ya? I know some of you that totally do. I know some of you that totally do. And I'm not like trying to, to be an asshole or anything. If you are going to the doctor and you need, you know, med medication and prescriptions, but, but damn, you, you find out that the insurance doesn't often cover it and your all of your retirement or all of your money is just going to, uh, it's all a big cycle. They all work together. The insurance companies, the pharmaceuticals, the doctors, the pharmacists. So why have we removed, why is dental optional when dental should be so important as well? Why, or why isn't it included? 
why is naturopath and holistic medicine like uh even even reiki okay or um energy healing right um why why isn't it included with like uh, and and if you do get a diet, they change the whole uh, pyramid scheme. I'm all the pyramid scheme. It's a pyramid scheme. They change the whole food pyramid to tell you that it's better for you to eat some fucking fruity pebbles or Fruit Loops than to eat eggs. Who? Why would they do that? Because it's about money, not the health. So this is one thing why I really like that as well. Okay. Um, Okay, <clears throat> I don't know why. See, with these, I just, I just, I just speak. I speak what's coming through. We're talking about health and nutrition here, cancer science. You guys represent that. The healers, the nurturers, the feminine, uh, brother of your gender. Okay, uh, cooking, food, divinity. Some of you are nurses. Some of you are just mothers, or even uh, you know, fathers that are parents. Uh, you love, you know, the food and food is divinity. Uh, let food by, be thy medicine. Hip hop. Um, Cindy. Right. Right. And I, and I'm not trying to like, you know, I, I ate pizza with cheese on it and it was greasy and it was so good. So I'm not like perfect with my nutrition at all. So don't think that I'm trying to. Like, I'm not going to shame anybody for your dietary choices either, right? But if, if you're having certain issues in your life, in your health, and it literally is this one thing or this chemical or this additive or something in this food is causing you sickness, like too much sugar, you know, or this yellow five dye or yellow... 48, blue, 79, blah, blah. Um, and, and just by removing that from your diet can make you healthier and feel better, then why wouldn't you do that? You know, some people have sensitivities to milk, right? And the, the protein in milk, nuts, uh, nut allergies or something, you know, or um, grains, food, you know, gluten. So to each his own, but when we're talking about healing and someone, you know, when people are trying to feel better, um, exercise is so important, but you can over exercise. You can actually harm yourself by over exercising. You can ruin your metabolism. You can ruin your bones. You can ruin your muscles by overdoing anything. So keep that in mind too. But 30 minutes a day of getting your heart going and breathing is so important. So before I did this video, I did that. like, And I don't go out doing a pump and iron and doing stuff. I mean, I've done that before. I like some kickboxing. That's some fun stuff. Some combat. <laughs> but I, I, I just love walking too. But I listen to some of these heavier music because it gets my heart pumping too and gets my ass moving gets me up and walk around the, the neighborhood, walk around. Sometimes I'll just walk up and down my, my stairs or something. I used to do that <laughs> just because I was like, all right, I got to get some stairs in and it burns, it burns. But, but also your knees, watch your joints. It depends on where you're at. Maybe water aerobics is more important or doing something that's really delicate, gentle on your knees. Jogging and running is horrible on your knees, guys on your joints so all right look see my virgo's coming out mm. <laughs> it's my north node though so hey okay maybe you're gonna receive some information with that in your dreams even or um connecting with someone like that wow okay let's go to snake snake I follow the cycles of life. Okay, and unicorns right after that, and magic is real. 45, 6, 2. So we've got some Aries, or uh, someone could be 45, right? Or, and you don't have to be an Aries. This could also be Cancer Leo, and then maybe some Gemini, or this could be someone who's 62 or born in, or 62 Geminis. There's Virgo Taurus with that as well. Um, 
nine, eight. I flow with the cycles of life. Intertwined within the cycles of life and rebirth, snake knows a thing or two about removing what no longer serves them. Once a snake sheds its skin, it emerges brighter and bolder than before. With this deep connection to the cyclical nature of the universe, snake urges you to release what holds you back from being the highest version of yourself. You too can remove the layers of ego and expectation to transform into a more authentic version of yourself. A living embodiment of your soul. Knowing where to begin in this process can be difficult, but have faith. Snake will help to guide you through this. And as each layer of the ego peels away, you'll soon see yourself in a new light. Your vibration is rising along with your power to create your reality and manifest your dreams. The journal prompt asked you, what patterns do I want to let go of that are standing in the way of my ascension? So what in your life needs to be released and let go of that you know it's hurting you, harming you, keeping you stuck? It could be a, a thinking. It could be um, a religious belief. It could be own self-undoing. It could be um, a certain food or a, an addiction. Okay, a person, a relationship. Let's see what's underneath here. The lion, the Leo's coming through. Oh my goodness, I told you it's not a Leo. 53. Well, let's peek and see. I know Leo came through for another sign too. Um, and I think it's, it is beautiful because Leo is your cusp energy too. But some of you can have a lot of Leo ancestors or family. This is also Leo re represents joy. Um, you know, the fifth house energy, fun, new creativity, even children, romance. Um, they shine a light on stuff, right? That's the way they're supposed to. There's a little Taurus with this too. Leo Gemini. Um, maybe five, three or 53. I also see nine, eight again. So 98 or Virgo nine, eight. Okay. That's where we're at. I'm at 57 minutes in. Wow. So I'm going to shuffle these. That's what I started with. We're going to see what flows out, what pops out for the cancer signs for your October monthly messages. Thank you guys all so much. I hope that you get a wonderful message. Uh, as well and check your rising sign and your moon sign as well for October monthlies and then look forward to the Novembers that are going to be coming up shortly um, I kind of gave you a little sneak peek into that I haven't decided exactly which cards I will unveil for the Scorpio birthday season I mean we're still going to be having Halloween but it will be for November's monthly so I'll probably still have some some spooky stuff actually I kind of did I, I'm like, I actually kind of did. Mm. I thought about, I, I have the dark crystal tarot. So I might pull that one in as well. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. That's a little Aries energy. And then uh, Pisces. Um, I also have some dragons. Some dragon oracles, maybe. I don't know. I We'll see what comes through. And if any of you are Scorpios or have Scorpio in your chart, because I was definitely there, you know, if you want to put in your requests or thoughts or any uh, oracles or tarot decks that you would like to see opened, unveiled for your birthday season, go ahead and put that in the comments. If not, I'll figure it out and it'll be a surprise. Uh, I haven't actually, because I've been doing this the whole year for every Zodiac sign, I'm doing the little unveiling of uh, mini brands or mini books, mini things. And I, I have potentially mini appliances, sneakers and hats. Uh, what else? Gross minis. I kind of thought maybe I'll do the gross ones just because, you know, Scorpio season. I don't know. All right, let's see. What do we have? Wow, we got Capricorn and I bent that card. Damn. You need to do some healing with the Capricorn. Uh, whoa, and the dragon. Wow, damn, dragon's coming through now. Rotocrosite, the 22nd. Oh, wow, one, two, three. So, Capricorn coming through with this one. The dragon, I don't think these read reversals, so I'm gonna put that here. You guys are the first with all of these. You have a Capricorn coming through from your ancestors. Whoa, 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 one, two, three. And then we have Kava Kava. I feel like this came through with Sag, and then the dragon. Connecting with the dragon. This is the year of the, the dragon. 
So maybe, yeah, I kind of thought the dragons. Okay, so let's begin with these three. I might need one more. Okay, we're gonna do a three card spread. Whoa, the way it actually works is this dragon is the center. How can you stay in your highest vibrational state today? 39. The dragon, you might have ancestry or roots with this. What? That bums me out that it bent that card. I wonder why that one got bent. I mean, it's okay now. No way. I see 12, 13. So Sagittarian energy. You could have Sagittarian moon. You have Capricorn in your chart as well. Uh, let me see what else. This could also be the Capricorn energy. So earth energy. How can you stay in your high? That, that's your opposite. I see sometimes it doesn't click at first. I'm like, oh, how, how wonderful is that? This is also who is trying to connect with you. Mm. And the missed messages. What have they been trying to relay to you? Something about the dragon. Your sacred gift. What have they sent you or will send you in the coming future? This rotocross site. Body, how can you care for your body today? I mean, this is about your career and heart healing. Spirit, what can you do to connect with your guides and your highest self? Working with rotocrosite being spotlighted. <gasps> okay, I have to go see. I know I've had a rotocrosite, I think. These ones have been, maybe this one is different than I'm thinking. Because I think, I think the one I was thinking of is actually a black and, and pink. Maybe you have a piece of rotocrosite. I'm getting definitely Sag Capricorn and a lot of Sag Capricorn. You can have this in your chart. They're trying to. And that's what came through. I'm telling you, for me personally, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure she I'm pretty sure she a Capricorn. <laughs> or he a Capricorn. Whatever. Capricorn's coming through for you. Okay, Cancer Signs. I feel like I'm supposed to get one more. I'm gonna get one more. Yeah. See, this one is different if I read it. It's always the center one is number one. But, you know, I don't. So it can be either or. I'm going to read it and you can take it how it resonates. Let's get just one more. Let me get a good shuffle. Okay, just one more for the cancer signs. Okay, say one more and we get a whole bunch. Eos. Yeah, this is even the Leo energy or a child. This is the sun. There's a key there. Maybe it's a child of yours. I also see rabbit and ocean. Oshun, compassion, love. Good luck, rabbit. Hmm. This might even be someone who's been trying to connect with you. My ear on my left ear just started ringing really strong when I said that. So now how many do we have? Can you even see those all? Wow, we got a lot more than I anticipated. 103 on the clock. I got to move through this quickly now. Wow, and we got Black Panther under there. Old soul. Old soul, Cancers. Oh, and this might... So some of these also that popped out, I want to share with this with the rabbit and ocean, ocean, or maybe the ocean, and then the eos. Um... It, it might be connecting with this earthly weaver or the second video. They all kind of with the tarot of the second video for you. There was definitely someone that was holding on that didn't want to let go or something, but there was a little bit of a, a manipulation, you know, eh, to try and keep you stuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I'm looking at the different card spread, five element card spread. So I'm looking at the spreads that are in this. So there's a five card, a four, and a three. Hmm. Okay, what is the situation you're addressing? The ether, something about the dragon. We're gonna go with the dragon first. 39. This may have to do with someone who is 39. You could be 39. This could be doing with Gemini and Sagittarius energy. Someone in your community, your sibling, your neighbor, or someone you met in college or higher education, learning, different cultures. I'm also getting potentially Pisces. Maybe there's some dream energy with this. 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, the 12th. 
10, 12 when I'm doing this and 10, 11 was yesterday when I did do your other videos. So something about the 11th, this person was trying to get your attention or coming through. They're part of your ancestry potentially. You guys are the first to get the dragon. I really like this deck so far. There's so much more to explore and learn. I'll definitely keep incorporating this throughout the monthlies. Um, Moonstone, of course, that's there for you. Moonstone, Cancers, and Labradorite. Okay, 39. Cool, you guys got a whole different, and there's Black Panther, it's 38. Wow, the Black Panther, okay, I don't know if you can see where I said it. Yeah, it's over here. And Amaratine is there. These ones are beautiful. I really like these. I am going to read the Black Panther. I am protected, 55, 38. Black Panther sits atop a tree branch, illuminated by the light of the moon. you got to be a Pisces or Gemini, Scorpio. 55, someone could be 55, huge changes. There's There potentially is in Taurus there. What, what else? 1110. Wow, you guys kept getting 1110, Scorpio. Whether this be you, right, or uh, someone that's coming through for you, that's protecting you. Uh, maybe they're 38. This is right in flow. 38 comes before. So that's why I need to read this one first. They're, they're in a... This is an old soul. Black Panther. <laughs> wow. They could also be a Pisces or a Taurus. Or, a, or that Scorpio. Okay. Black Panther sits atop a tree branch. They may be a sibling or a neighbor or something, actually. Illuminated by the light of the moon. A graceful creature, Black Panther quietly observes and witnesses its surroundings. Its deep, dark fur keeps Black Panther protected while also setting it apart from the rest of the animal kingdom. The Black Panther is a powerful symbol of spiritual rebirth. If you found yourself looking through the depths of your emotions or seeking psychic guidance, then Black Panther is a sign that the universe has been listening. The Black Panther is a guardian like no other. And in this stage of your journey, know that you are divinely protected. Connected to the dark moon. <laughs> the dark side of the moon. You guys represent the moon as well. Black Panther also represents your ability to travel through the darkness and find the light. Oh, yes. That's what I was doing, too, with the music, okay? Tap into your inner power and know that you can uncover your dream reality. Release any uncertainty to the universe and move forward, knowing that you are, your own power alone is a force to be reckoned with. To be reckoned with. The journal prompt is, what signs have I seen recently? And what do those mean to me? And then we have the Eos. And she's holding the key. She's like angel energy. We have 58 Capricorn, that's 13, 513. So I'm pulling quite a bit of Taurus energy for you too. 58 as well. Maybe Leo, there, or they could be a child. 12, 13, 12, 13, 1222 Capricorn. 4, 7, Aries, 43, so I'm going to be 22. And then we got 10. Oh, wow. There is a hair. Little Virgo and dog hair. Okay. Hmm. All right. Wow. So I'm going to go to Dragon next. This is in the center. This was like the focal point for some reason here. I am brave. Being brave, brave and confident. It makes me think of the show Brave. If you could change your fate, would ya? <laughs> Merida. She's brave. Little Taurus. Hmm. There's a 5'6. Maybe they're born on the 6th, even, or someone could be 56. I'm also saying Gemini. Okay, Sagittarius, like I said, maybe Pisces. 1211, Sagittarian, against the rocky cliffs of the mountainside, the mountain go even. Capricorn. 
Dragon rests peacefully with the crashing shore, blissfully ringing in its ears. Its iridescent scales catch glimmers of sunlight and sprinkle the cave, the cave, in an array of rainbows. Dragon is often misunderstood, but it pays no mind to the thoughts of others. It has done too much work to let the fears of others be a distraction. So how to train your dragon. Your work, dear one, is not done yet. There is much for you to learn and overcome because no matter how old we get, there's always a lesson to be learned or shared. What Dragon is here to remind you, however, is that you are strong. You are strong enough to learn the lessons you need in this life and are not defined by what others say. Wow, that was really, do not let others define who you are. Mm. Or the fear that they may try to instill in you. You are a child of divine love. And dragon will accompany you on your journey to keep you safe. And it may even throw a rainbow or two your way to remind you of how magical you are. Wow, so maybe you've been seeing some rainbows. The rainbows, even the rainbow obsidian. I wonder if you can see it in here. It just looks so black. It looks like an eight ball. <laughs> But this is supposed to be a rainbow obsidian. But I have yet to be able to see it. And then the rainbows in the kunzite. Maybe you're going to see a rainbow. Wow. Or the rainbow, that the aura that goes around the moon, you know? Yeah, I'm seeing the moon. This is there. Look, look. Look at the old soul. It has a rainbow or the moon on the, the, the third eye. <coughs> Sorry, someone is not communicating about this because other people don't understand. And that's okay. I know. We're weirdos. It's all right, though. Sometimes the weird, the weirdest people are the best people. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. I love this. So your journal prompt is to say, what are some positive things I can remind myself when times get hard? 56, the Taurus, the frogs there too. 12, 11 even, and 39. What are some positive things to remind yourself when tough times come? You know, that, that you are brave and confident, right? And that you are protected. And you're going to see the sign. I'm going to say even God put the rainbow in the sky to remind us that he would never flood the earth again. All right. That he made a covenant. He made a vow to the humans. The rainbow is there from God. The bow. Bow. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. Hmm. How interesting. Okay, <clears throat> so this is the ether even. What is the situation you're, you're addressing, right? As well as who's trying to connect with you? The dragon. And how can you stay in your highest vibrational state today? Is by remembering positive things that remind me of when times get hard, right? Okay. Let's see, you're a child of the divine. I want to make sure. They might throw a rainbow or two in your at you to remind you of how magical you are. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> the earth energy. How grounded are you in decision making? So I'm noticing both of these coming through for that. So Capricorn energy. This is about your career. That's your opposite, right? You know, this is about how you see yourself. It's the earth energy that helps ground you into... Um, Focusing on um, even how you're seeing the world. And rhodochrosite. 58 and 22. The 13th. So 1013 or 513. A lot of Taurus coming through in this one. I saw how Katie did. Guys, I forgot to tell you that. Katie did. But it was missing a leg. I felt kind of sad for it. I don't know what it went through, but it was still standing tall. Katie did. Hmm. Okay, what's this other this other one? Um, 
So I'm reading these ones first and then we'll get to these others. So these might be for all different cancer signs. I'm so noticing like the fingernail, the new moon, the little moon energy. This doesn't look like the full moon. And then we got the stars. Hmm. Okay, so let's go to the Capricorn energy. This is also missed messages. What have they been trying to relay to you? And about your body. How can you care for your body today? Okay, 58. We're going into that first. Boundaries are healthy. 7-6 Capricorn. No way. There's a lot of 13-13. You guys get a lot. You've seen a lot of the 13s. 13-13. Hmm. Four, four, seven, six. Illuminated by their laptop screen, Capricorn can be grinding away on their latest project. They've worked diligently to get where they are today, so they are dedicated to what they've been doing. As soon as the time comes, however, Capricorn knows that it's time to shut it down for the day. Setting clear boundaries has allowed them to get to this point. Establishing boundaries can be difficult, especially if you aren't quite sure where you need them. Capricorn is here to assure you that everyone needs boundaries of sorts, creating a balance between work, your social life, and being able to decompress after a long day is a recipe for success. It's okay to be ambitious as long as you remember to stay in your integrity and not stretch beyond what is good for you. So the journal prompt is to ask yourself, where do I need to establish healthy boundaries? Right. And that, that's even, that does make me think a little Sagittarius energy and understanding that. Work-life balance. Um, wow. Hmm. Had setting up boundaries. Healthy boundaries. Okay. And then we're going to go to Rotocrosite. 22. I welcome opportunities that lead to my heart's desires. 37. Um, so this could be dealing with someone 22, 37, Aquarian energy, Pisces. Let's see. 410 Aries, Gemini, Libra. That's kind of what I've got right here with this one. And this third card could be air. What is the rationality for your decision? Hmm. As well as air and spirit. Once again, what can you do to connect with your guides and your highest self? As well as sacred gifts. What have they sent you or will send you in the coming future? This rotocrosite. Opportunities. I welcome opportunities that lead to my heart's desires. Rhodochrosite can be found in variations of pink and brown with streaks of white that give this stone a unique appearance. Its connection to the heart chakra makes it a great companion to help open the heart and welcome positivity into your life. When it comes to making decisions in life, they are often categorized as being made with the head or the heart. You're being encouraged to welcome decisions that will lead to happiness and your heart's true desires. Find what speaks to you and what warms your soul and let that be the choice that you make. If you're having a hard time discerning between your options, close your eyes and focus your energy toward your heart. Notice any subtle shifts when you weigh your options and listen to what your intuition and your heart have to say. The journal prompt, if I let it, where could my heart lead me? Hmm. Your heart. So connecting your head and your heart. I think is important. Okay. So this is healing of heart, opening your heart space, setting up boundaries for yourself, healthy boundaries, right? Having confidence and being brave um, and trusting, like connect, you know, opening your heart was, is it, is it logical or is it something that seems like a dream, you know? Wow. So we also have Eos here trying to connect. And I know Eos came through in a different video. So maybe a different set of cancer signs dealing with Leos or with Leo Capricorn Taurus. 
And then we've got a little Aries energy, 43 potentially, and 10 Capricorn, 510, and 47 the rabbit. <laughs> okay. So let's see. I also see this is also a spirit ally who's trying to connect with you. Eos. Okay. As well as the situation you're addressing. There's a key with this. I did want to share right next to the, the rhodochrosite was the rainbow fluorite, which came out for uh, the Geminis as well. So it could be Gemini energy. And I'm also seeing potentially, how can you stay in your highest vibration? We're going to go to Eos now, goddess Eos. And your other goddess was Ocean. Oshun. I am worthy of my desires. Capricorn. 519. No way. And 513. The Greek goddess of the dawn. Eos is a bringer of light and new beginnings, draped in robes of saffron with wings to carry her through the sky. Eos is said to have been responsible for opening the gates of heaven every each morning to let the sun in. She is also the sister of Helios, the sun god, and Selene, the moon goddess. While Eos is the perfect reminder of starting each day fresh and new, she also has a wild energy about her and an unquenchable desire. Let her inspire you to look at your life with fresh eyes as you explore your own desires. Whether it's romantic or dreamy, reigniting your passion can be rejuvenating and enlightening in an entirely new and unexpected way. Let yourself explore all the possibilities and see where you end up. This is finding out what you want in life, right? Capricorn 1-9 as well. Journal prompt, what do I deeply desire? Wow. Now I'm going to go over here to the ocean one because that is at the end. This is also potentially so a bonus card. Could be picked if you feel called to see if there's anything that you may need to be aware of for the day ahead, 13. So that's maybe tomorrow. It depends on when you're getting it. Maybe it's the 13th today. Um, and I feel like these are the bonus cards even. Understanding you are protected, the Black Panther, Rabbit, and Oshun. as well as uh, making connection. And what have they sent you? Maybe you're gonna see a bunny or a good luck bunny rabbit. Maybe they're sending you a rabbit um, or going to the ocean, I don't know. Also, how can you accept, assess the gifts and continue to connect with them? Um, okay, we're gonna go to ocean. Gonna go to the ocean, huh? <laughs> 10 24 okay so maybe in scorpio season right or in 10 24 you're getting it now um there's also a two four there as well as 10 six so libra scorpio aquarius potentially i honor my uniqueness and my self-worth the yoruba west african goddess of water fertility and love oshun is often depicted in gold and a yellow dress She's known to represent all that is pleasurable in life, as well as the embodied awareness that time is precious and we must love and honor ourselves. The message that Ocean relays is that it's important to stand your ground and understand your worth. Know that you are the only one who can give yourself true approval and that it's okay to put your opinions and feelings first. Do not get weighed down by the voices of others who may be intimidated by your presence. If you're acting out of love, and the respect for others, then you have no reason to let others speak less of you. Stand tall in your beauty and your uniqueness. Remain confident in yourself. Speak up for yourself and keep your head high. Your journal prompt is to say, what are a few of my favorite things about myself? This is finding the qualities about yourself that you love, okay? The ocean. Oh, shun. Maybe it was about standing tall, like this wax is standing there, like waving or something. I don't even understand, but okay. 1022, that's so interesting too. And 1024. So for your month, maybe these are things, right? Now um, I am going to go to the rabbit. I think that's the final message we've gotten. We're already 112, no, 124. Ah, there was Aquarian energy. Uh, 125 coming up. Okay. 
So this is the final message. Thank you, Cancer signs. I hope you get a wonder, have a wonderful time. I hope this is giving you some clarity and guidance, inspiration and understanding um, of this whole journey on life. And I appreciate you all. And I um, thank you so much for watching. And you can also check your rising sign, moon sign. I know they get long, um, but you know, sometimes we just, we have some downtime to just listen um, I listen and then I get done listening and that's why I do the videos too because now is my turn to talk. That's communication. And these are always fascinating and it is about learning um, and sharing what we learn with others. Right? Okay. 43. Oh, I see the moth. Rabbit. 60. So I brought up 60. So someone could be born in 60 or be 60 or 43. I also see, so maybe dealing with an Aries, Cancer, Gemini. Pisces was there a little bit with the 60 card. Um, seven, six, Geminis. Abundance is coming to me. So you're going to be receiving something in the in, coming up soon your, from your guides or from... Um, opportunities there's abundance can look like opportunities you know a door is opening uh, the song space lord motherfucker it says there's two doors to true to choose but only one has your name hmm abundance this is good luck charm too a lucky rabbit's foot quickly moving through out of pasture rabbit stops to delight in the morning sun its nose wet with dew. Rabbit lifts his ears to listen to the gentle rising of the earth. It knows that with the quick move of its lucky feet, it can be off exploring and enjoying the natural bounty. So I know that, and I can't remember exactly which zodiac sign, but when I was doing, there was something about the vets, and the V's and the vets, but I'm thinking, then I found out literally, it was like, this is someone who is becoming a veterinarian uh, and I think it's Capricorn, okay, or a veterinarian, or they wanted to be, or maybe even if, taking animals, like, or taking care of these type of animals, okay? So even though someone maybe has had a rough start <laughs> at life, and uh, this is seeing you can always progress. Maybe that's something, uh, my ears ringing, my ears ringing so hard right here. The left ear, no, the right ear. This is the future. Maybe this is something that you've you've thought of about doing, even volunteering or something. But um, how beautiful because we got the black rabbit and the white, and they're both looking up at the at the moon. The lucky rabbit's foot. So the rabbit makes me think of lots of different things: winning the poo and rabbit being scared. To it, it is about fear. Uh, it, it can be about sexual stuff as well, overcoming things like that, as well as like jumping down the rabbit hole. You know, we got uh, Alice in Wonderland and I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello. Goodbye. I'm late. Hmm. Rabbit has hopped into your life to share that good luck and abundance is available to you. This does not just mean wealth. As there are many things that could be abundant in health, happiness, and the wonders of nature are all possibilities for this. You simply need to believe that you are worthy of receiving good fortune. You will discover that through this belief, more will become available to you. So open your arms wide and welcome all that is on its way. Journal prompt is asking you, what does abundance look like to you? Hmm. So writing about it even... Huh. What does abundance look like to you? Health, happiness, good fortune. I'm getting the song Open Arms by Journey. Hmm. So open your arms wide and welcome all that's on the way. A journey. Maybe there's about partnership. Wow. The raven is 44, but we're not going to go to that one because I've already spent so long on this. Okay, Cancer Science, thank you all so much. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, like I was saying, uh, you check your rising sign and moon sign as well. And um, look forward to the November messages. Um, 
and I hope you have a wonderful October season. Uh, have fun and enjoy the season. And maybe there's trick or treating and fun stuff like that, right? There's overcoming fears. There, there's always blockages, you know, and there's always fear during this time. But it's the time of the season for, oh my gosh, it's the time of the season. Hmm. Yeah. For love. What? Okay. All right, Cancers. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.